Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a haul of all the books that I've acquired over the past few months. As you may have noticed, I've been completely absent on my YouTube channel, but that is because I have gone back to work. So it's been a little interesting trying to juggle working at the swimming pool, um, running my salon, opening my candle and book sleeve business, running a blog, finding time to read, and YouTube. So YouTube kind of took the back burner as it is my least important of my things that I do. So it did take the back burner for a little while, but hopefully I'll be back. I'm going to try and upload once a week. I was doing two, but it's just not feasible with everything else that's going on. So I'll just be doing once a week and then vlogs every now and then. I do have a vlog from last Thursday and Friday that I edited today. And then my computer decided to crap itself. So that was fully edited, ready to export. And then my computer died, I had to fully reset it. So I lost all of that. So I'm gonna have to re-edit it. So that should be up in the next couple days. Enough rambling. Those videos will be coming soon when I get time to edit them again. So basically what I'm gonna do is just go through all the books that I don't think I have hauled yet. I may have, I don't know. It's hard to remember, it's been so long. So let's just get started. So the first book that I got, I received in a book exchange and I actually received the exact same book twice <laughs> in two different book exchanges. So I am giving away a copy on my Twitter. So make sure you go and follow that. The um, link will be down below if you want to win a copy of this book. But it is The Lie Tree by Frances Hardening. It is a mystery thriller type thing. I'm pretty sure I did read the description when I got it and it sounded interesting. So I decided to keep it. But yes, I have two editions of this, exactly the same cover. So one of you guys will be receiving one edition and one well, I'll, hope, I'll hopefully eventually read. <laughs> okay, so what I can tell from the synopsis of this book, basically her father dies under mysterious circumstances and she is trying to discover what exactly happened. And in searching for that information, she discovers this tree that feeds off lies. That's about all it says on the back. It's, it's a vague description, but I'd say that's because it's like a thriller type situation. So you don't really need a heap of explanation. So next we have Mirage by Somia Doid. I think that's how you pronounce the name, not 100% sure, but I've seen this book around and when I was away a little while back, I saw this in Big W, I think it was, and I decided to pick it up. I love the cover and I've heard some pretty good things about it. So I'm pretty sure this is a YA fantasy, maybe with some sci-fi because it says that she wants to travel beyond her isolated moon, so it might be sci-fi, but as far as I can tell, this girl is kidnapped and is used as a body double because she is the spitting image of the princess. So it sounds really interesting and like I said, I'd heard it heard about it everywhere and I'm pretty sure it was in a couple of the subscription boxes with different covers but I think I love like this cover more than the purple one that I'd seen a few times I just love this teal kind of color so yeah when I saw it I had to pick it up and it's actually a lot thinner than I thought it would be like when I saw it online I thought it would be like a big book but it's not it's only under it's under 300 pages so hopefully I'll be able to get this one soon the only thing that makes me iffy is in Victoria Roth's little bit here it says a smart romantic exciting debut by a rare talent. The romantic bit, I'm not keen on that. So the next one is A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGuinness. This is another one that I received in a book exchange and this is reflecting my light really badly. Um, but yeah, this is another one I received in a book exchange. I don't know a ton about it and I don't think I really want to because it is a thriller as far as I know. So I don't think I really want to read the synopsis. So. I'm gonna leave it at that. So next we have This Cruel Design by Emily Suvada. This is the second book to This Mortal Coil, which is a book that I absolutely adored. I bought it ages ago because I hadn't even heard anything about it, but I bought it, let me show you. I bought it because I saw it in Big W and it had this as the edge pages. It continues over into the actual page itself, but it is a helix design. So I saw this, I'd seen the cover before, but I picked it up and when I read it I absolutely loved it so this one the sequel recently came out and I did pre-order and get the pre-order incentive but I thought I cancelled my pre-order because I wanted to find the matching edition with the edge pages but I forgot that I I must have pre-ordered it twice and I only cancelled one of the pre-orders so I do have this now but I'm still on the hunt for that matching edition so I'm going to Toowoomba. I'm going to Brisbane in a few weeks so I'm going to have a look for it there but I originally found that one in Big W so I'm going to hunt there and I'll see if I can find it and if I do then I'm going to give away 
this coffee because I don't need to. Especially because this is like just the plain normal coffee. But I do absolutely love these covers. Like they are so vibrant. So I won't say too much about this one, but the first book in the series, This Mortal Coil, is a YA dystopian and it follows this girl whose father is a researcher on this disease that is the reason this world is dystopian. And her father is taken or killed, she doesn't know, and it's basically her trying to figure out what the fuck's going on after that. So I absolutely loved it. The only thing I didn't 100% love was the romance, but that's a me thing. I just don't like romances. So besides that, I absolutely loved it. I found it really unique. Like, I feel like most dystopians, you feel like they've been done before, and then you find some that are unique, like Scythe and like this mortal coil that you're like, oh my god. So I absolutely love that one. I'm so keen to see what happens next. It ends on like a massive like cliffhanger. So I've been keen for this, but I just don't have time to read it right now because I have so little time to read. And my main focus has got to be on the Books for the YA Book Nerds um, group that I write discussion questions for, and also my arcs that I am way behind on. So this one has had to take a back seat, but oh my god, I need to get to it soon. <laughs> so next we have another book exchange book, and this is The Kite Runner by Khalil Le Yeah, I don't remember I don't remember how to write its name. But anyways, um, this one I don't think I really need to explain. Everyone knows what this is. It is historical fiction. I do love historical fictions, and that's one marked as one of my favourite genres in the book exchange. So I got sent this one as this one that I haven't read. So it's been on my radar. I wasn't 100 percent sure whether I was gonna pick it up, just because it's like known but it's not really hyped like I don't feel like many people like oh my god I love this book like they are with like books like The Book Thief so I wasn't really gonna pick this one up but I have the audiobook on Skype so I was gonna read the audiobook and then if I liked it I was gonna buy it but now I have this edition however if I do end up liking it I'm going to get rid of this edition because this is a mass market paperback and I can't deal. Okay so next I'll just talk about three secondhand books that I res that I got from our local bookshop. If you follow me on Instagram you would have seen me hauling actually most of these but um, there is a secondhand bookshop in my town now and it's only like a little one volunteer run but I go in there every now and then if I happen to be walking past it and I found three books. So first one is an Agatha Christie book and it is The Mirror Cracked from Side to Side. I'm pretty sure this is a Miss Marple Yes, it is in the Miss Marple series. I'm not quite up to the Miss Marple series yet. I'm still working my way through Hercule Poirot. There's a lot of fucking books. But when I saw this one, I decided to get it. They didn't actually charge me six bucks, which is, there's another secondhand label on there. There's that one, and it is a Mass Market paperback, but with the Agatha Christie books, I don't 100% mind because I don't mind having secondhand books of Ag Agatha Christie because they're classics, they're older, and I tend to listen to them on audiobook anyway because I really enjoy the narration on the audiobooks. So I don't physically read them, so having the mass market paperback doesn't annoy me. So yes. But this is probably one of the thickest of the mass market paperbacks I've seen. Usually they're like a quarter of the size of this. So it's interesting. Next I have another book that is by the same author as The Kite Runner and it is And the Mountains Echo. This is another one of their books. I haven't heard too much about this one. You tend to hear about The Kite Runner and A Thousand Splendid Sons more than this one. I don't know if this one is newer. It could be. Or whether it's just not as good. I don't know. Printed in 2013. So it's not new new. It's newer. But this one I mainly picked it up because of this cover. Like I saw the spine I was like what is that book? And then I saw the author, I was like, hmm, I might get that one. So I don't know too much about this one, but as far as I can tell, this one swaps between times. So it like jumps in time, but it starts out in Afghanistan in 1952. So I'm not sure, but I only got, I think I only paid like three bucks. So we'll see if I enjoy it. If I don't, I might try and get the audiobook the same as The Kite Runner if the narrator is good. So Yes, that's the next one I got from the secondhand shop. The next one I got is the Silmarillion. Is that how you pronounce it? It's by J.R.R. Tolkien and this is like a companion type thing. It's like set in the same world as Lord of the Rings. And if you didn't know, which I don't think I've mentioned on here because I haven't been on here for too long, I am trying to reread the Lord of the Rings Hobbit books and like read all of the other ones that are set in the same world. I'm doing it all on audiobook, but when I saw this one I decided to get it because I do really like this cover. It is quite interesting. So that way I have a copy at least. But yes, I will be listening to them on audiobook. I'm slowly making my way through. So next I have a big ass book that I'm not 100% sure why I purchased. Besides the fact that I had seen, I think the name of the book club read it. 
like a couple months back. But this is City of Lies by Sam Hawke. This book is huge. And it is an adult fantasy. I haven't read anything more about it. I don't really want to know. I like going into my fantasies not knowing much. But I about bought it because they were reading it and then I never end up reading it for that month. So I still have it. And it is huge. Okay, next is a book that I picked up in QBD a while back when I was away and it is Two Dark Reigns by Kendall Blake. This is the third book in the Three Dark Crown series. Is that what the series is called? That's what the first book's called anyways. I really enjoyed the first two books so when I saw this one I decided to grab it and it is a matching addition to the ones I have so I grabbed it. The spine is bright yellow. I have too many books and not enough time to read. Okay, next I have a sequel to a book that I recently read and loved and that book was Jacoby by William Ritter and this is Beastly Bones, the second book in the series. I loved Jacoby. It was so good. The characters were amazing. I, I love it. I'll link my full review below. I did a full spoiler free review on my blog which I will link below but as soon as I finished that one I had to go and buy the other books but I only bought the second. I reframed but I have the second. It's not the matching edition which is annoying. I actually prefer this edition because like a soft touch cover and it kind of looks slightly vintage and I can't wait to eventually get to this one. I hope it is as good as the first one because the first one was so damn good. My god. If you have not heard of it go read my review, go buy it. It is amazing. It is a mystery historical situation by the way. It is so good. Okay so next I have a book that is highly anticipated which I started reading on audiobook and wasn't enjoying. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I enjoyed the first book in the series. The only thing I didn't like was the really quick romance but and that's not just a me thing, that was like insta-love, so it wasn't just that I hate romances, it was it was a bad romance. So I started the audiobook for this one, I just wasn't enjoying it, I don't know why, I listened to like five hours of it and I had to give up. I just couldn't do it anymore. So I do have, I did have two editions of this one, I received a finished, a final paperback from Hachette Australia, but I have since given that away in a book exchange as that is one of the books that she wanted and I had a brand new paperback sitting there so I sent that to her. But this one is the one with the sprayed edges. So yeah, I haven't had time to give this one another go yet but I hope I'll be able to at some point with my arcs. I am kind of working my way from the oldest ones to the newest ones because I'm behind. So this one I think I will be picking up like soonish because it was a early October release and I'm currently on my like September releases but I just don't know. I'm gonna try reading it by the physical copy and if I just can't get into it I'm just going to give up because this is too big of a book to force myself through and even on the audiobook. So yeah I don't know why I wasn't enjoying it it just I just wasn't I don't know. Okay so next I have Dry by Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman and this is another dystopian. I recently read, well a few months back, I read Scythe by Neil Schusterman and really enjoyed it and when I heard about this new release with him and his son I believe I was really intrigued and this is about a drought. That's all I know. It's about a drought. I was intrigued because at the time of its release Australia, well Queensland and New South Wales was in its worst drought in living record which still a lot of New South Wales and Queensland is um, the area that I'm living in, like it's currently raining right now, we're out of the drought basically but a lot of places west and north of us in Queensland and a majority of New South are still very much in drought. So this was interesting to me. So we'll see how it goes. I like Neil Schusterman's writing, let's see if we like Jared Schusterman's writing being thrown in there as well. Okay next I have Wildcard by Marie Lu. I really enjoyed Warcross. Again, the only thing I didn't like was the romance, but I don't think that's a me thing as I've heard a few people that said they don't like the romance. But I had to pick up the next book and I really like this cover and this like fluorescent blue and green situation going on here. And this is the edition, the um, Warcross you could find an edition that had a rainbow cover. This is the green one. The one I have is just a plain blue cover for Warcross. So I'm not sure exactly where or how you got those editions or what the difference is, but this one's got that under the dust jacket. Anyways, wild card. Don't think I really need to explain this one. Next is another book that I got in exchange and this is These Rebel Ways by Sarah Rush. This one I honestly was not going to purchase myself because I just have not heard the best things. I did really enjoy Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush, but 
I haven't heard the best things about this one um, and the audiobook is unscribed. So I was going to listen to the audiobook and then if I enjoyed it I'd purchase it. If I didn't, no harm done. I received an exchange so I didn't actually pay for it myself or choose to purchase it. But I now have a copy and she also sent me all the stuff that was in the YA Chronicles that this came in because she'd ordered two of them so I got a heap of stuff with it as well. But yes, these are a way Sarah Rush pirate thing. I'm not really sure what it's about, but I don't particularly want to know. Again, I don't like knowing a shit ton about my fantasies. Okay, now we have another sequel. This is As She Ascends by Joni Meadows. This is the second book to Before She Ignites. This is about dragons and stuff. And in the first book, this girl gets locked away because she knows too much about these dragons. So yes, this is the continuation of that one. I absolutely love this cover. I don't usually like books with people on the cover, but I do like this one. And this one I got... I ordered it, I don't remember where exactly I ordered this from, but I ordered it from somewhere and it is signed. And it's got a little dragon stamp, which will be really hard to see because it's in gold. Um, but yeah, this is signed and personalised. It says, Eliza, use your power, signed by Joni Meadows. And this was like part of a pre-order incentive thing. If you pre-ordered it, you could get it signed and customised to your name. So I did that. I got this. I got the couple pre-order things. I thought there was a lot more pre-order things. I'll have to go back and look at the email because I know I got an email from Owlcrate about the pre-order stuff. If you're on the Owlcrate mailing list, you got extra stuff. You just had to put Owlcrate in the email and I did that, but I only got two things. And I know when I got that email, I was like, oh my God, there's like 10 things for this pre-order incentive. I'm definitely doing this. But I only got two, so I'm, I'm a little confused. Hey guys, so this is Editing Eliza, and I just wanted to follow up on that comment I made about um, not receiving the proper things from Jodie Meadows as she, as she ascends pre-order incentive. So on the email I got from Alcrate, this is the image that it came with, and it says pre-order as she ascends and receive a signed book plate, which obviously I didn't get because mine was personalised. Um, dragon character stickers, which I have not gotten, bookmark, which I have not gotten, and exclusive dragon card, have not gotten. And then if you go down, there is an image of a map, and that was the Alcrate exclusive thing. If you put, men if you mention the code Alcrate ascends in your email, you will receive the map. Didn't happen. I did get this thing. Let me turn my brightness down. I did get this card, which is like a tapestry card, because it says you can order your copy wherever books are sold. However, if you order a book from One More Page, which is where I ordered from, Jody's local independent bookstore, then you get all the above is plus exclusive Fallen Isles tapestry card, access to behind the scenes goodies, didn't get that as far as I know, and signed, personalised and stamped edition, which I did get. So I only actually got that tapestry card with the pre-order incentive. So I'm not sure if I was the only one that didn't receive it. If you also pre-ordered it, let me know, but it is a little annoying. Like I know it's a free gift, but it is a little annoying when they say, hey, if you pre-order this, you'll get this, and then you don't. So anyways, just thought I'd update you guys on exactly what was going on with that. I don't know if anyone else has received it or just that it hasn't came yet, but this released like last month or the month before. It doesn't actually say in here, but I'm pretty sure it released like two months ago. Okay, next I have some graphic novels. The first one is Monstrous by... Who is this by? Marjorie Liu and Sana Takadi. Takada? I'm not sure if you... I know how to pronounce that. I really enjoy graphic novels, but I have to have specific artworks. Like, I need to like the art. And whenever I'd seen this book on like other people's videos and stuff, like, this artwork is gorgeous. It is so nice. So, I had to get this one. I don't do graphic novels very often just because they're so expensive. Like, I get the reason why they're so expensive, but they're so expensive and I can't really afford them. So, I don't get graphic novels too often, but I got these from QBD and the other three that I'm about to show you from QBD and I used ZipPay to pay them off. So, that, that, that helps. <laughs> ZipPay is fabulous. The next I got is three books in the Wicked and the Divine series. This is, what numbers are these? Five, six, and seven. I've already read one to four and I decided to get the next one. One of them was a pre-order so I had to wait a really long time to get this parcel because with QBD if you or like put in an order and one of them's a pre-order you have to wait until that pre-order releases to get your entire package which is really stupid. But oh well. 
So I got, yep, this is number five. This is Imperial Phase Part 1. Number six is Imperial Phase Part 2. Number seven, which is actually a lot thicker than the other ones, is Mothering Invention. But yeah, like, it, you can't tell that it's a lot thicker, but this one is thicker than the first books. Okay, next is The Boneless Mercy by April Genevieve Tuchok? Tuchok. Not sure how to pronounce this. I'd seen this book around a fair bit and I'm pretty sure I saw Pierre Ford reading this in a reading vlog. I don't remember if she enjoyed it but I saw this at I think Big W or Kmart or one of those and like this cover I bought it. It's a fantasy I think. I think. <laughs> I don't even know much about it. I saw the cover I was like yes thank you I've seen that around. I think it's good. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, next I have Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. Sebastian? Yes, that is right. Um, this one is another one I ordered. Actually, I ordered that one, this one, and The Boneless Mercy from Target or Maya, because I don't usually order from those places, but I needed to get something for a Halloween costume. I didn't have money, so I used Afterpay, and you had to spend a certain amount to use Afterpay. So I added some books. <laughs> so yeah, Ash Princess. Obviously, I've seen this one around a ton. This is another YA fantasy. I'm intrigued. It has a map. I don't know anything about it. Okay, so next I'll talk about a couple books that I received from publishers recently. So the first two are both from Hachette. I also received Muse of Nightmares from Hachette Australia. Obviously I've given that one away, but I did receive that one from them. But I have two others that I have received from Hachette Australia just in the recent months. First one being Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco. <sighs> I need to get to this one very soon. It's on my list of arcs, but it just, like I said, I'm working on September. This one I'm pretty sure came out in October. We're getting there but this is a final paperback this isn't an arc but I did receive this one from Machette so thank you so much to them the next one I received from them I actually got yesterday I think it was that is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nang this is the arc and on the front it has a really cool quote obviously the name is on the spine this one released 6th of November so I did get it after the release but this is a arc copy and this one says each year eight beautiful girls are chosen as paper girls to serve the king it is the highest honor they could hope for and the most demeaning. This year there's a ninth and instead of paper she's made of fire. So that makes me really intrigued. I can't wait to read this one. I did also get this one on NetGalley after I requested this one. I requested it on NetGalley I'm pretty sure and I got accepted for NetGalley and then I got this one after the release date. So I do have the ebook as well but I will be getting to this one soon. Um, this one is a September release did I just say November release so I'll be getting to this one hopefully soon but it's not on my immediate list I'm still working on September so thank you so much to Hachette Australia for sending me those two books and also Muse of Nightmares really appreciate it next book I received is from Pan Macmillan and it is Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer this is another finished paperback if you didn't know in Australia we tend to get I'm not sure what my cat's doing, she's trying to climb in my drawer. We tend to get finished paperbacks rather than arcs. Not exactly sure why that happens, but it happens. So yes, I got Arch Enemies by Marissa Bayer, and I really enjoyed Renegades. It did take me a fair while to read, but I remember enjoying it. So of course, I can't wait to read Arch Enemies. I haven't got to it yet. Again, I'm working through my list, okay? Those are the three books that I received from publishers in recent months. So next, I have two books that I've already read and loved and bought a second copy of. Um, okay, make that... Okay, make that a 12th copy for this one. So I bought another copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Both of these I purchased on Facebook, like on a Facebook sell sort buy page. But this one I purchased because the copy that I have, this is the copy I have. It is a special edition, so it is different to this one. So when I saw this one available, I decided to grab it. This is contacted. I don't know if it was originally a library book. This isn't an early reprint. It's the 46th reprint. Definitely not an early one. So yes, but I, but I decided to grab this one. I'm trying to complete my three sets. I'm trying to complete my normal UK paperback, my normal UK hardcover, and my special edition paperbacks. So I'm slowly collecting. And there's also slight differences in the editions that are printed in Australia versus the ones that are print in, printed in Great Britain. So the next one I purchased was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This one... I'm not really sure why it's slightly different to mine. This is my edition from the front. They don't look that much different. There is a slight colour differentiation with the purple up the top, but the spine's a different colour. They're both Australian prints. Mine, which... wait. Mine, which is the blue spined one, is the 26th reprint by Australia, McPherson Printing Group. 
and the one that I just purchased, which has the green spine, is the 14th reprint in Australia. So this one is older, but I'm not sure why they changed the spine colours. But when I saw this one, I was like, hmm, I'm going to grab that. So I did. I also have two other books coming from the same person that she found after she sent me these ones. So you'll see more of them very soon. Okay, so the next book I have already talked about because I received a copy of it from Hachette Australia, but I also have a hardcover of Escaping from Houdini from Kerry Maniscalco. I had already pre-ordered this one and then I received the paperback, but I decided to keep this one because I do want to complete my set of hardcovers as I have the other two books in hardcovers. So I didn't mention before, I am giving this one away currently on my Instagram along with a candle from my store. So if you want to enter that giveaway, go and check out the link down below in the description. Okay, we're down to the last two. So, the second last one is a book that I've already read and loved, and that is The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. I read this, like, last week. I tabbed the crap out of it. I fucking loved it. I loved reading from Felicity's point of view. I have written a full spoiler-free review of this one, and I'll link that one down below, but I adore the characters. I adore the writing. Mackenzie Lee's writing is amazing. I love, at the end, how she always gives you some background information of where she found her information, and the information that she actually found, and who these characters are based on, and that type of thing. I really enjoy that, and I just... I love Mackenzie Lee's writing so far. I've only read um, Gentleman's Guide and Lady's Guide, but if she writes anything else historical fiction, I'll read it. I do have her other book, which whose name is escaping me right now. It was her first release, like her debut. I do have it on Scribed, I think. Something Monstrous? Monstrous? I don't remember what the name is. I'll put the cover here. But I do plan to read that one. And I do have her Bygone Badass Broads, which is a non-fiction. But for fiction works, I adore this. It's got fucking dragons in it. And lastly, Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. I have already read this one. I read this one on audiobook a little while ago and really enjoyed it. And I had pre-ordered the audiobook, so I put my pre-order thing in for the incentives. And I decided to get this one so that way I can actually put my signed book plate in a book rather than it just sitting on my shelf somewhere. So I grabbed a copy of this one. I did really enjoy it. It was one that I didn't think what I was going to enjoy, but I ended up really enjoying it because <laughs> at the start it kind of starts off like a fairy tale story and I'm like, I don't care, love. And then it's like dark twists and turns and it's just completely out of the blue. So really enjoyed it. Okay, that is all the books I've purchased and received recently. Make sure you keep an eye out on my Twitter for the giveaway for the lie tree. Check out my Instagram for the giveaway for escaping from Houdini. Also check out my store on Etsy because everything on my store is currently on sale for Cyber Week which is currently on the week leading up to Cyber Monday. So I have a week long sale going on. It went from the 20th and it finishes on the 26th. 26th? I think it's the 26th, which is Cyber Monday. So go check out that link if you want to get yourself some Harry Potter candles or some book sleeves. I'm hoping to put some more book sleeves up there tomorrow. So yes, all the things will be linked down below. So make sure you go check out the description box and head on over to those links and my Twitter and all of that. I'll try and have that giveaway up tonight, I think. So it should be up by the time this video goes live. So yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know whether you like my new backdrop with my two new bookshelves. I'm loving it. I think that is all. I will see you guys in the next video. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left.